In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to unlock every single vocation in the game as fast as I can. Not only is it gonna be a quick video, but I'm gonna show you all the items you're gonna to need to give to the NPCs to make sure you unlock their vocation and the fastest ways to get to them. So let's get into it. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to break out of jail and make your way over to Vernsworth. As soon as you get to Vernsworth, you're gonna to wanna to hop over here into this ox cart and take this ox cart, which is at the West Vernsworth ox cart station, all the way over here this is going to be the checkpoint rest town once you reach the checkpoint rest town make your way all the way to the back of the city and talk to the shopkeeper over here this is going to be the forgery shop so you can come to him and have him forge items for you but for now we don't need that if you're a bistrin you can skip this part of the guide but if you're not a bistrin you're going to want to buy the bistrin mask from him get this mask off of this guy here and then make your way into back patal you have Four different ways of getting in the back patal, but the easiest is going to be hopping in a carriage and having that carriage carry you across the border into back patal itself. I'm going to have a detailed guide that's going to show you all four ways of how you get into back batal. The way that I took was actually this path right here, but I don't recommend it. It's insane and there's so many things that can go wrong along that path, but it's a very easy path to take. Don't worry, the guide is gonna help you out on all the different ways you wanna know on how to get in the back of a tall if this carriage is not spawning for you. Moving right along, once you make your way to about right here into back of a tall, go ahead and stay along the main road and make your way all the way down until you're into the city. Be sure to put a port crystal around here somewhere so that you can come back here every time you need to because there isn't a static port crystal in this city. Moving right along, this right here is going to be the area in question that we need to go to. There's going to be an NPC right up here standing outside his shop, and you're going to talk to him. But he's probably going to be grumpy, and he doesn't want to help you. With that being said, if he's being grumpy, just, just let him be. Walk over to the right side of his shop and look at these bags that are sitting next to a pen. Pick up a bag and drop it into the pen after putting on your beast mask and boom, he'll talk to you, take you inside and ask you if you want to buy something. Buy two new liquors off of this guy and be on our merry way. From there, you're going to want to go down this path, go out towards the left and you can stop by this digger's ruins. This is a cave, which is the money cave in the game. And in order to get a whole bunch of money. Bring that money back to one of your favorite vendors inside of the city and get your money back from what you spent. Or if you're already floating the money, then you don't need to worry about it. You can just go there another time. There is something in here called Glimmer's Coal that you can stack up on, bring back to the city, and get rich. But let's keep going down the path. You're going to want to take this path right down here all the way until you get to Drabnir's Grotto. Make your way through this entire cave, and there is going to be a campsite halfway through. You're going to want to go down this cave and not across. There's going to be a lot of places where you think, oh, I could just go straight across here. No, you want to always go deeper when you're inside of this cave. That is going to guarantee that you get out the other side. At that point, you're going to see an NPC standing right here, which is the next person we need to talk to. This is going to be the dwarf. The dwarf is going to have a hurt back and he's going to ask you for flowers. Go ahead and pick up all the flowers in the vicinity or give him the flowers in your inventory. And then he'll ask you to come meet him back at his home. His home is right back here. I also recommend that you drop another poor crystal here as well because this NPC is a very important one. This is the dwarf who's not only going to unlock dwarven smithing for you, he's going to be a vendor that has all the vocation weapons. The dwarven smithing style is one of the greatest smithing styles in the game. And since he has the most powerful weapons for each vocation, this guy is godsend. You just got to have him. Now, just before leaving this man's home and telling him that you're going to help him get to the spa, go ahead and grab one more bottle of new liquor off the table and the chest inside. From that point on, he's going to follow alongside you and you're going to want to take him all the way up to the spa following this path. On this path, there's going to be a griffin and a minotaur, a griffin and a chimera or a griffin and an ogre. There's going to be different combinations of things you might bump into. So hopefully you get a good combination. Right after you finish moving through those caves, you'll get right to this area right here, the Volcanic Island Camp. Boom, as soon as you get here, take them up to the spa, and we're gonna unlock the Warfarer vocation as well as the Magic Archer vocation. As soon as you talk to his wife at the spa, 
she's going to give you the ultimate ability for the magic archer vocation and she's going to unlock it for you then you want to turn around and talk to this guy sitting down right here give him all three newt liquors and he's going to unlock the warfarer class for you as well as give you the ultimate right alongside it you're going to need to use this as soon as possible in order to use the warfarer properly so just be mindful of that if he doesn't give it to you the first time talk to him again and he should hand it over let's move on to the warrior and the sorcerer class these are actually going to be a hell of a lot easier to unlock because you get those from the first quest in the game the monster culling quest as soon as you get to vernsworth and you talk to brant he's going to have a quest for you called the monster culling quest you can get that quest from him walk along this path right here and it's going to send you right into this spot the trevor mines in the Trevor Mines, there is a basement floor, a first floor, and a second floor. On the first floor, all the way in the back, there's going to be a chest that has your arch staff. And on the top floor, where the soldiers are that you have to save, there's going to be another chest that you can open and get the two-handed greatsword. Boom. You're going to bring those back to Vernsworth City and turn those into the vocation guild at that point you just unlock the warrior and the sorcerer now we have one more to go so let's get to it you're going to want to make your way back over to the checkpoint rest town and you're going to want to hop inside of a carriage to break through the gate that is going to be the fastest way for you to get into the area we need to go in order to unlock the trickster so just try to wait for that carriage stay at an end sleep on the bench for a little while until the carriage pulls up hop in and hijack your way through the border once you get in you're going to want to make your way down this path pass by the anoa batal forest go all the way over here into this part of the road and you're going to make a left heading past this little area right here going straight back this is where you want to go the revenant shrine the revenant shrine is the place where there's going to be a ghost you talk to them and they're going to give you the trickster vocation and that right there is the fastest ways for you to get all vocations in dragon's dogma 2 if you like we do here in the channel make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips tricks guides and a whole lot more for this game i really enjoy making these videos for you and thank you so much for all the support you guys have been smashing it and i'm gonna keep bringing the content for you but for now this is your boy m of m since hd i'm out of here